Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you what a 300,000 naira apartment can get you in Abuja. <laughs> guys good morning it's not morning i'm so used to saying morning i forgot it was evening good evening guys now i'm hoping that when i go to the house the person is going to allow me to take videos most of these realtors they don't let you film their houses maybe for some reasons sometimes when you see most of us like um with these videos of apartment onsen is either maybe the person was lenient or we still these videos like we kind of take like videos why they're not looking or something like this so today i was like i'm going to try my best to film like what an apartment looks like in abuja and what you can get for so so price i'll really let's see i hopefully hopefully the person allows me to take videos i would really love to show you guys wish me luck and come along with me at the estate at the moment and one thing i noticed about this place is it's motorable which is a good thing the roads are tiled and it's not dusty like most of these recent new development house developments most of the roads are not tiled which is quite a disadvantage thing i noticed about this estate is it has like a shopping complex the estate i stay in does not have a shopping complex so another good point what is the apartment we're seeing today Four bedroom apartment and the owner is subletting one there are older people already living in so you share a living space a kitchen but you have your own restroom you have your own bathroom let me show you how the room looks like it's empty so you have to buy your bed and everything that you have to Everybody has their own cabinets in this house, and everybody has their own gas where they cook. You have to get your own fridge. There's good security. Very yeah, there's water, there's light. How constant is the light? Very okay. <laughs> what is very okay? What do you theme as very okay? I can't say 100%, yeah, we sign an agreement. Yeah, you when? Mm -hmm. when do you sign an agreement? Once you pay, you bring who do we pay to? Okay, the main entrance pay and the room key. So the room has a lock. Then we don't meet. Um, I'm not meeting in contact with the landlord. <laughs> but guys, I don't know how I feel about living with other people that I don't know from Genesis. The house has like four um, rooms, and they are let out to like three people already living in the house i think two guys and one girl are already there and then there's only one person remaining i'm leaving the estates now they're still developing these houses right there hey guys it's quite dark now because i went out to do this house tour quite late so it's already like um seven o'clock now 7 p.m I was glad that um, the realtor was kind enough for me to show the apartment. But this particular one is a shared apartment. You can also get a self-contained apartment for the same price. I don't know if that is safe. So agency fee is 10%. So you pay 10% of whatever you're paying as the rent. Also, it said the security um, service charges is 15 about um 15k service charges includes like maybe taking out the garbage for security and that so so the 15k is actually yearly you pay that yearly hey guys so you can see what a 300 000 naira apartment can get you 
in Abuja. Depending on what you want, you can also get that for a self-contained from 300k to 600k. But this is what I could show you today, what a 300,000 naira apartment can get you. I will do more house hunting later in the future, I'm giving you major tips that you need to consider before you move into an apartment. I use gg.com and nigerianproperties.com to check like the apartment in Abuja or wherever. You can also check apartment wherever you want in Nigeria, but that is those places I use. And then um, the numbers of the realtors are placed there. So I call the realtors and I tell and I ask if they are available and when they will be available. And then I go check the apartment. Gigi says you should not pay any realtor for, for any fee to view the apartment. But most of these realtors, they ask for payments. But this particular one today didn't ask for payments. I get the reason why he didn't ask for payments because he actually lives in that estate but even if you're going to give them something or you're going to give them some money just let it be reasonable because some of them ask for ridiculous prices maybe for transportation and whatnot you have to also check if there are holes in the apartments like because it can lead to predators coming into the house you want to prevent rats from coming to your house cockroaches and all that so you have to check if the um even in the restroom you have to check if the toilet um is working properly so sometimes you get houses that this toilet um pumbling stuff is spoiled and it's leaking so you have to check for that to avoid that another thing you have to check before moving into an apartment is proximity to town and if it's close to the places you you'll be frequently visiting while you're in abuja like for instance your place of work you have to check the distance between the place you're living and your place of work. Another thing you have to check for is service charges. Like I said, always ask for service charges so that it's not when you get into the apartment that you not get to know that there is something like service charges because there is security. For the fact that you're staying in an estate, even if you're not staying in an estate, there will be some, some, some sort of security charges you have to pay. And so you have to always like... You have to ask and then you have to also check if the electricity is constant and the best way to do that is to just ask the neighbors beside wherever whatever area you're going to but if you ask your realtor it's going to say yes there's always constant light at least they will tell you they will try to convince you to to pay for the apartment you have two different type of apartments here in abuja you have semi-furnished you have furnished no, you have three types. You have semi-furnished, furnished, and unfurnished. The prices are different depending on what you're going for. Of course, the unfurnished will be cheaper because you have to get all the, all the stuffs yourself. Then semi-furnished will be a lot more expensive, but furnished will be more expensive. And most furnished houses um, come with most majorly everything you would need. But um, which one is better? I really don't know. <laughs> it depends on your pockets because for unfurnished, you can you are rest assured that you can start getting things like little by little. But furnished apartments, you have to pay for the things at once. I will do more of apartment hunting in Abuja if you guys request for it. You have to also check if the security is tight. The security has to be tight. Most of these places are cheap. Like you actually get houses. Let me tell you, there's not all places in Abuja that are well developed. There are places in Abuja where you can get houses as low as 150k in a year. But the thing about those places is like the security might not be tight, and uh, you might be prone to robbery attacks and like whatnot. So you want to avoid that and go for a place where the security is tight at least you are safe also check if it's a prepaid meter last thing which is the major major thing to do before moving into your apartment is to sign an agreement let it be a regular agreement that you're entering at this point and you have paid in full social -so amount and that your rent will be expiring by this amount please make sure you do that please and please because you don't even want stories that touches the heart you don't want a situation where you cannot defend yourself there is no proof nothing nothing even if you think you know the person or even if you think the person that introduced you to this person knows the person like a brother like a sister whatever it is like a friend whatever there is no friend in business please make sure you sign a legal agreement and collect receipts and always have it you can take a picture of it so you don't lose so in case you lose the paper you can always have reference but i noticed about this apartment this apartment is a residential apartment so it used to be like a family living there like and then they moved out and they rented that place out so that's why the structure and the way it's being um built it's like 
more like a family a nigerian family apartment no nigerian family like a family apartment i think i'm done with this video if you have any questions 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 relating to like how much uh i don't know whatever questions you guys ask just let me know in the comment section below i'll be there to answer and give me ideas of what to film then i would film that for you thank you all for watching and see you in another video Bye. <laughs>